Okay, all right, you're just gonna, you're gonna have to excuse the hair, the face, it's a basic day. All right, Lily and I are off for the day. We are headed to Shenandoah National Park. My mom got us the America the Beautiful Pass last year for Christmas and we have yet to use it. Um, I think we thought we'd be on the road sooner. I don't know. Anyway, so I figured it's a beautiful day. Mike's up at his guys camping trip. So I'm at our other camper and had a late start this morning. And now Lily and I are gonna go check out at least Skyline Drive. There's a couple short hikes dogs are allowed on, so we may do one, but I'm a little bit of a crime junkie, so we'll see if I get enough nerve up to actually do a hike by myself. Cremora Lake uh, overview. So let's check it out. This is unreal. Look at this y'all. Look at that. Holy cow. That view is spectacular. It is just a beautiful fall day in Virginia and you just can't get any better than this. Well, good morning from Green Ridge State Forest. We're in Flintstone, Maryland for a guys camping weekend. Uh, we left the other campground with all of our friends uh, Wednesday, which is our full first week of uh, being full-time RVers. And we're on a guys weekend camping trip here in Green Ridge State Forest, uh, which is all boondocking. Um, we're gonna be here for about a week there's five or six of us today and a few more guys coming in over the weekend but it's just a very chilled hangout kind of camping weekend for us let's see what we got going on around here these are the trails or roads coming in they are mostly gravel it's not too bad it's fairly well maintained um larger rigs are tough though it was uh very slow moving to get in here uh, we have a 38 foot rig so um as you can see some of these tree limbs are pretty low so we did a lot of dodging the bullets coming in right now i'm headed around to a local uh pond that they have here. I don't know if it's a fire management pond or forest pond, but I don't think it's natural. Uh, we've been coming here for years. I think I started coming here when I was 12 years old. So. I had to get up and get moving this morning. So everybody else is still, uh, still sleeping. If I hung around the campsite, I was just going to wake everybody else up. But This is part of 15 Mile Creek, which is considered a local trout stream. Luckily, there is moving water. I was concerned because it has been very dry uh, in this area. So we shall see how the... Uh, Little pond is want to get around that way. Let's see what we have at the pond this morning. Well, you can tell the temperature is down from overnight because of the amount of steam coming off the pond. Looks pretty cool with the mountains in the background.
Okay, I am here at Turk Mountain Overlook. I'm gonna assume, maybe I'm wrong, that's Turk Mountain. But this is gorgeous, y'all. I mean, man, I couldn't have picked a better day to come out here. It is amazing. Wow. I keep stopping at almost every single overlook, which it's funny because when Mike and I watch Traveling Robert, who we absolutely love, he pulls over so often. We're like, pull over at the next one, Robert. I just keep doing the same thing because you just can't beat these views. I mean, it's unreal, y'all. This is amazing. Gosh. Ugh. I'm so glad I decided to get out today. Okay, yeah, I'm at another overlook because it's just, it's what I'm doing today. And Mike and I talk a lot about gratitude and we practice gratitude and I'm so grateful I decided to get off my bum and come out and do this drive today. So, I mean, but y'all look, look at this. Look at this view. Seriously? Sorry. Look at this view. It just stunning just stunning oh my gosh so grateful today I wonder what Mike's doing is he having as much fun as I am mm, I don't know so we're going to have to be very mindful this weekend I uh, just came across some more bear scat which is the third set of bear scat we found since we got here yesterday afternoon we actually had some in our campsite um, and there's two more areas over next to the pond here that have bear scat so it is obviously an active bear area uh, we're early in the season so they have not gone into hibernation but they're probably feeding pretty hard the area that we're in is black bear only I've been coming here oh 40 some years roughly and uh, probably over 40 years at this point and have only actually seen two bears you know two actual bears running around so We have another section of 15 mile creek and if you look closely see if i can do this without falling in the water someone has built a makeshift dam up there um and that's probably just a dam to water up on the other side to make it a little bit deeper this is an this is a deer crossing so right there is a trail the uh, deer are using to go up the side of the mountain and there is our motor coach in the background. We're out in a little grassy area. Um, it's a kind of a group site here at, State, at uh, Green Ridge State Forest. Uh, we're out in a little grassy area where we have room to get to two coaches because there's uh, six or seven of us camping here that, together this weekend. I wonder what Chris is doing. All right, Lily and I are at, we came all the way to the bottom of the of Skyline Drive, and we are at the McCormick Gap Overlook, and it is gorgeous. I mean, today couldn't be like a more beautiful day. Look at that view, y'all. Look at it. It's crazy. The weather's perfect. It's a little bit cooler up here. When we were down in the valley, it was probably, I don't know, 72. There's Lily. Hi, Lily. And um, up here, it's a little bit cooler, so I'd say it's probably upper 60s breeze. Gosh, it's beautiful. I wish y'all were here because it is fantastic.
good morning peeps welcome back to green ridge state forest this is uh day number three here um out doing a little hiking in the woods this morning and came across the creek i was telling you about in the last uh video this is part of 15 mile creek which is a trout creek uh, you guys aren't going to be able to see it but there are quite a few uh baby trout swimming around in there So I figured I'd bring you guys out in the woods with me this morning for a little quick walk around before uh, breakfast is served back at camp, which is uh, one of my responsibilities. Not a big deal, don't mind cooking. So I'm gonna head back that way uh, and uh, try to get everybody fed. weather's been pretty good um we haven't had a lot of wind so we've been able to have uh, campfires every day so which is one of the things we all enjoy doing together and that's sitting around the uh, sitting around the campfire so this is actually part of i'll show you here what's known as a dry creek bed um, it'll stay dry most of the time, but once, uh, they have a decent rainfall, the little creek bed here will fill up and, uh, run until the rain stops and then it actually dries up again. So it's considered a dry creek bed, which is what this, uh, trail is actually along. So had we had a bunch of rain in the last couple of days, this would actually have flowing water in it. And it's only briefly, it only flows while it's raining because the rain comes down off of the mountains and pools in these certain areas like this area that I'm in now and creates what's called a dry creek bed and then eventually after the water can you know works its way through it uh dries up again but appreciate you guys going with me this morning thank you for watching have yourself a wonderful day we're back together again after my guys camp out uh once a year we go away for a week and it's pure boondocking up in the Green Ridge Forest State Park in Maryland and uh, had a wonderful time this year. It's kind of a rite of passage in our family once you're 12 years old to get to go. When my son turned 12, he went. And we have several other families that join in the tradition as well that have their uh, sons, children, daughters, anybody can come. But you have to be 12 years old because it is boondocking and we are way out in the mountains and it's a long way to go if you get hurt. So uh, we try to keep 12 years old as the whole um, cut off as far as being able to go. I started at age nine and my dad joined in and it's just been a family tradition ever since. And I'm hoping that the uh, sons that are doing it now or starting to pick up what, where we uh, left off are just going to keep the tradition going. So, but it is good to be back. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad we're back together. So normally when Mike does his guys camp out, I usually actually take that Friday off when I was working. I took it off. I took a me day, I'd go shopping, or I would just sit home and watch Hallmark movies all day. Whatever I felt like doing, whatever self-care felt good to me then. Uh, I still did the same thing. You saw Lily and I had a great time at Skyline Drive. So glad we got out and did that. Other than that, it kind of wound up being like a working week for me. I worked on our website, which should be coming out sometime later this year, November, December, maybe. Um... And you know what? It was just really a very chill weekend. I had anticipated doing some video editing and I left the hard drive in the camper here with Mike. So that didn't go as planned. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to pivot and move on. But other than that, it was a great time. But I am glad that we're back together. Me too. And from here, we're headed to Natural Bridge. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that come out. From Natural Bridge, we're headed westward to Arizona. So, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, take 17. <laughs> Coming up. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier than others. Sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't want to happen. No. All right. Okay. Are you smiling? I'm smiling. <laughs> yes. After actually we camp out. Nope. We start over. Okay. We're back together hold on i got it okay so we're gonna sit again you ready yep so 
Go show. When Mike does his guys camp trip, got him. Oh, 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 oh. 